Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I just got the new Auto Fix powered by Autel. You guys know Autel, they make wonderful OBD2 scanner diagnostic tools. Well, this one here is an Auto Fix seven inch screen tablet OBD2 Bluetooth powered with a wireless connection into your OBD2 port. 5,800 milliamps per hour on the lithium polymer battery that's included. Also, this tablet is, you're able to go on the internet if you want to research other things, as well as uh, have an SD card that you can put in here, which is not included, uh, that you can save snapshots and video that you can take with a camera that's supplied inside this tablet. Let's open it up and see what it does. So as you can see, this is the AutoFix Advanced Automobile Analyzer. It's the D1 Lite. Seven inch screen, Bluetooth, lithium polymer battery, multinational language support. Comes in this nice carrying case from AutoFix. Now this is powered by Autel, a leader in these scanner diagnostic OBD2 tools. Once opened, as you can see, you've got the OBD2 connection to your OBD2 module underneath your dashboard, and it's Bluetooth. You can charge this up with a USB-C charging cable. Over here is the battery brick adapter for 110 AC. Got a couple of cables here, ethernet module, as well as a USB-C cable. It gave you some free candy. It says, do not eat. Look at that. Seven inch screen, very light, grease and waterproof all around, made rugged. As you can see on the back, got a camera along with a uh, LED light on there so you can take snapshots and screenshots and video if you want over here is the power button and here it says open it's open two USB-C ports as well as a TF or SD micro SD card so that you can save all the data and the pictures that you take and all that let's turn on the power for the first time press it the long press and as you can see it says Auto fix. Your friendly consultant. Hello. You have to agree to some agreements. As you can see, tablet is starting. And here you can see some So you have to connect this to your internet to upgrade the software to the latest one. We'll do that off camera. As you can see there, here's your... Works just like a Apple iPad. Okay, we're in my car. I have my sunshade so it blocks out the light so we can see better. Over here is my OBD2 connection and you just go ahead and plug that in there. It makes a noise. I'm gonna pair that with the tablet so it's wireless. So I've paired the module to the tablet. It's establishing vehicle communication after I've already entered my Wi-Fi information start up your car and it'll manually or automatically find your VIN number. And tells you all the information of your car. As you can see, it shows 14.3 volts, which corresponds to my little meter there. Now we're gonna go to diagnostics. Auto scan. Auto 
all kinds of really in-depth details of your vehicle. And I can see that you've got a couple of faults already, 52% so far. Checking the complete health of your vehicle via the PCM. So I've got fault number seven, let's see what it is. Yep, so I've got a camshaft position timing over advanced bank one, bank two, I got oxygen sensor circuit. Yep, those things I've always had. <laughs> Car still runs great though, but yeah. I mean, this is way more detail. I have the cheaper OBD2 connectors and, you know, diagnostic tools. And they just tell you like uh, one code or something like that. And you got to look it up. But as you can see here, this tells you everything there is to know about what your problem is. Now, of course, a regular guy like me doesn't need something so fancy, right? But uh, for people who own shops and uh, stuff like that, this is something that you could use to diagnose problems in vehicles that you get from customers or something. But for just a run-of-the-mill guy like me who, you know, just wants to know what's wrong with the car, um, this is more than what I need. This is way too advanced for somebody like me. But it's good to be able to know the details associated with these faults. So while I do have these faults, camshaft position timing over advanced and also oxygen sensors, sensors, I've always had that. If you look at my dashboard, I have zero check engine lights. So the reason why I've never tried to fix these is because it's never been serious enough for me to have to fix it. It passes inspection just fine, so I just leave it alone. But for you people who are involved with uh, diagnosing cars and getting everything fixed, you have the details right here on what's wrong. I either need a software update from Ford, which they'll charge you $150, $200 for, which I'm not doing, um, to, to probably update the oxygen sensor circuit. Bank one and two is what I read would fix that. And the camshaft position timing, uh, I don't know what that's about, but like I said, car runs fine, no check engine lights. So I'm gonna just leave it alone. You guys can leave it in the comments if you could tell me what that means. So with the other functions on here, you got service, settings, you know, settings is your regular stuff. You can print up all the data that you've had, whatever. And, um, you know, you can have a report, you have real time data that you can record uh, on your SD card that you would put in here. You can print reports if you want. I mean, a guy like me would not really care to do any of that. <laughs> you can auto update, right? Uh, update the software that's in here. I didn't do it. Uh, battery test. So it showed that it was a DTC P0345 and it automatically went to Google so that I could, on the internet, because it's connected to the internet now, and I could find out what that is exactly, you know, in detail. So like I said, this is like your iPad. You can press um, camera. There we go. <laughs> I'm taking a video of a video. See? So your tablet now is like a camera and you could press, take a picture, you know, and you'll have the picture. And then you can go to the gallery and look at all the pictures you've taken and there's your picture press the return or home and then you're on this main screen here battery test vci manager you can update the software maxi viewer data manager support like i said this is powered by autel okay you can look at live data There's live data right there for you. 
numbers are counting down with everything fuel trim engine rpms look at my engine rpm 604 i'm gonna step on it there we go live data now why would somebody like me need that <laughs> Like I said, this this tablet is way too advanced for a regular, you know, Joe Schmo like me. Let's do a battery test. In vehicle test. So this is great. The Autofix D1 Lite, powered by Autel, a name that you can trust super fancy very small seven inch tablet that will tell you exactly what's wrong with your car live data saving the data storing the data taking pictures searching the internet all in one tablet you got to auto update it so you have the latest software and also enter your wi-fi password on here so it's connected to the internet at all times it's wireless you don't have wires hanging all over the place you could have this connected in your car and then read this stuff in your garage all connected by bluetooth very convenient comes in a great case so many functions that i just could not ever use being a regular person but if you're a mechanic or you want to be a mechanic or you like to diagnose your friends and all the cars that you have and find out exactly what's wrong with your error codes in your vehicle make sure it's running right at all times you need one of these auto fix d1 light advanced obd2 diagnostic scanner tool tablets powered by autel a name that that's been doing these tools for years and this one is not very expensive compared to the ones that cost thousands of dollars i think this thing's like 300 bucks i'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested thanks a lot for joining me on this weekend product review we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers are you ready for the apocalypse I know, so dramatic. See you guys next time on Motors and Blowers!